to talk about Stuart Downing's future and in particular in which position. Can you can you expand on that a bit for us? I said before I think that Stuart I like players that are multifunctional. You get some players, as I said, that specialise in certain positions, but if you've got a number of players that can play in different positions, it means you can have a real tight group, small group. And I, I look at Stuart and I think he's someone that he can he still has a future as a winger. You know, he's represented his country and he's he's made some big moves uh, as a winger. So uh, so he's obviously still got a future there. But I also think there's a possibility that he can play in the modern game as an attacking fullback. He's very good, you know, coming from deeper. He's a wonderful crosser of the ball, uh, and he's got good pace. And you've seen in the little cameo we had last week, uh, the link up between him and uh, and Raheem Sterling was was very good. You know, the movement patterns on that side was excellent. Um, so, so I think that he can play there, especially as, as I said in the in the modern game, where and in a team that is in control of the ball. Would that be a reluctant switch for him, though? Because you always sense being a winger a tad more glamorous than being a defender. Not really. I think players want to play, <laughs> whether they're playing wide right or wide left or left back or right back. Players will tell you they want to play, but that was important because when I spoke to him at length on it. You need to have an agreement with the player. He needs to want to play there if the opportunity comes. Uh, and he was very he was very excited about that opportunity to do that uh, because obviously he's played the position before. It's not totally new to him. So, uh, so he's played it. And like I said, it, we haven't got a great deal of cover in that position here either. We've got Jose Enrique, of course, and uh, uh, we've got Young Robinson here uh, who obviously needs a bit of time to develop. So... Uh, so if I can look at one or two things that allows players to, to play and, and I think they can do the job, then I will do that. And can I just get your reaction to Sven Joran Eriksson's advice to uh, the captain that if he wants to win the Premier League, he's going to have to leave Anfield. What do you make of that sort of advice? Well, I think Stephen will, you know, over the years, he's had a number of chances to leave here. And <coughs> he's always felt that this was a club where he could still win it. He's still got a number of years left in his career, and and we hope that, and we will fight, and we know, but we understand how difficult it's going to be. But I think he'll still feel the dream that is here, and I don't think he needs to move anywhere. You know, this is a club that we hope it's, of course, uh, will go through difficult moments. But uh, but his dream is to win the Barclays Premier League with Liverpool, and uh, and I, along with everyone else and the supporters, will fight for life to try and make that possible um, so um, so no I don't think he, he needs to move anywhere he's um, he's an iconic figure for this football club and uh, his status everything he's gained in the game has been through Liverpool Football Club he's won every major honour he could possibly win at this club and obviously there's one missing that he will want to fight for the rest of his career uh, to win that here so uh, but Thankfully, with Stephen, he's, you know, he's, he's realistic as well. He knows the reality, and so he's not misguided in anything. So, um, so no, it's, you know, Sven's obviously had his reasons for saying it, but, uh, but I'm delighted with his contribution. He's been brilliant since I've been here, Stephen Gerrard. You know, I've seen him from the outside, but from the, from actually inside, working with him as a man, as a player. He's, um, he's a wonderful role model. For everyone here, so uh, so let's see if we can fight to win it ourselves, and and hopefully you can stay here and and be a real ambassador for the club.